Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Bella's You channel. I'm Maribel from Davao, Philippines, and I move here in California, USA. I'm under a Q1 visa, and I have a Q1 visa playlist. I will put the link in my description box below. For today's video, I will share about the courtesy notice from US CIS. Yes, because I received the courtesy notice that was on last March 16, 2023. So without the further ado, let's get started. I will share with you my laptop screen. So welcome here guys in my laptop screen and this one, the courtesy email that I received from USCIS and this email that they sent after I was approved in my adjustment of status application and also my timeline I will put in my description box below and for summary, we send or we filed my adjustment of status last November 7, 2022 in Chicago Lockbox. Then USCIS received on November 9, 2022. Then I was approved last March 12, 2023 and I already received my green card that was on March 30, 2023. Then I received this courtesy email from USCIS last March 16, 2023. So I will read this notice. This one, the USCIS field office. It's in Santa Ana, California. And this one. Thank you for submitting a form IDAS 485 application to register permanent resident or adjust status, which has been transferred to a USCIS field office to review and adjudication. So I already know that our application was transferred to USCIS Santa Ana field office because I received an RFA and I saw the address that my case was transferred here in USCIS local field office. And also I sent a response for our RFA in Santa Ana field office. And I have a blog for that about my RFA. I will put the link in my description box below. So I will continue. What to expect? Your form IDAS 485 will be reviewed promptly and maybe adju adjudicated without an interview. If an interview is required, you will receive a separate notice with the date, time, and location of your interview appointment. Yes, I was approved without interview. Yes, interview wave. To expedite the processing of your form IDAS 485, please submit a valid an unexpired form 
I dash six nine three report of medical examination and vaccination record completed by an authorized civil surgeon. If you have already submitted a valid form IDA 693 that has not yet expired, please do not send another form IDA 693 at this time. In addition, if your form IDA 485 filing is based on a spousal relationship with a United States citizen or lawful permanent resident, please submit current and relevant documentation that substantiate your married your marital relationship. Then scroll down. This is a courtesy notice and not an official request for evidence or RFE. Yes, I receive an RFE. So I receive a notice for RFE and they include everything in that form what they will need more for for us that need to submit so if you have received an official rfe and or an interview appointment notice you may disregard this notice however if you wish to expedite the processing of your form i-485 please submit the aforementioned document along with a copy of this notice to the address below so this one the santa ana california uscis field office the address here so i just disregard this notice because i already received an rfe notice and also i was approved already <laughs> so i just disregard yes i was approved on march 12 and yeah, I received an RFE notice last February 22. Yes, so I just disregard this notice. And about this form, I-693, I did not submit this form. Yes, I did not submit this form because... My medical is still valid. I just submit my vaccination documentation worksheet. This is from St. Luke's Medical Extension Clinic. This is the DS3025 form. Yes. And it's all written here. My vaccination and also at the back my COVID-19 vaccine here yeah. so this form I only submit with my application of status so I will show you the form I does 693. So this one, the form I does 693. And the link I will put in my description box below. If your medical 
is if your medical was already expired, you need to submit this form and you need to redo your medical examination here in the US. But the medical for Q1 applicant or Q1 uh, for under Q1 visa, it's valid for one year when you are already here in the US. Yes, so I will show you the details for that, that it's valid for one year, the expiration for our medical. So, I will share the USCIS website. Yes, because uh, some they got an RFE for a medical that they need to submit the form IDAS 693 and they need to redo their medical. And also some, they just send the, yeah, they just send again the form for the vaccination documentation. And also they include the USCIS details that the medical, it's one year validity. When we are, already here in the US. So I will share these details. And also the link I will put in my description box below. So this one. K or V non-immigrants applying for adjustment. K and V non-immigrant applying for adjustment of status are not required to repeat the medical examination if the application was filed within one year of the date of the original medical examination. Yes, so this is the details. If we are already here in the US, the expiration of our medical will be valid up to one year for adjustment of status. So you can print this one and you can just send them again your vaccination documentation. If you receive an, uh, an RFE for the, the as your form IDA 693, So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, you can comment in my comment box below. And also if you want to connect in my social media account, in my Facebook page, it's also Vela's U channel. See you in my next video. Bye for now. Take care and God bless us. Okay.